Whether you are looking to start a new career or enhance your skills, two local organizations are giving you the chance to explore opportunities and connect with industry leaders. The Chicago Center for Arts and Technology and the Chicago Urban League are coming together to help you discover your next step. Lisa, Andrew, and Michael join us with a look at the Vocational Training and Trades Apprenticeship Fair. Welcome back to the show, Lisa. Um, I want to start with you, just because we, how did you know that this would be a perfect partnership between your organization and the Urban League? Well, well one, Andrew and I have worked together before, and mm -hmm. he's a wonderful partner and thought leader in this area. And we have similar programs, different focus in terms of um, the trades, but similar focus in communities that we're trying to serve. So we knew it would be a great partnership in other ways as well as just this one. So tell us about the event. Oh, I'm so excited about it. Um, we, the Chicago Urban League hosts so many different mm -hmm. career fairs. Um, but this particular event has been three years mm -hmm. now. And last year we had over 300 something participants, which was excellent. Um, so we invite companies down to uh, present opportunities to our young adults. So that way they can have sustainable careers. So, so it's uh, going to be a really good day tomorrow. I'm really mm -hmm. excited about it, and I look forward to it. And Michael, I mean, you are the living example right here <laughs> of what can come from one of these fairs because you yeah. were a former student. Yes, I was. And now you're also helping to teach. Yes, I am. Okay, so tell us what brought you. How did you hear about the fair? How did you end up going, and, and why? And what was the experience like for you? It was actually a Facebook advert. Uh-huh. Um, you saw caught, it? Yeah, I caught wind of it, and I signed up. I was contacted and I joined. Yeah, and then what, what interested you about it and, and what were you, um, like how did you decide like, okay, this is, this is for me? Uh, I transitioned out of education mm -hmm. and I wanted to do something completely different. So it was a career change okay. and I showed up to Shy Cat. I met the teacher who was awesome and I joined. I love that. And now what are you doing? I'm helping. I'm yeah. actually her assistant there um, with my education background. Uh, they brought me in to assist in her class. And what does she teach? And she teach food manufacturing quality technician. Yeah. What cool. I love about the event too is that it's not just for you know seniors or people going mm -hmm. into college. It can be anybody yeah. who's looking for a career change or anything new. Correct? Absolutely. Yes. The idea came to us because we wanted to focus on kids who were coming out of high school mm -hmm. who may not have um, a something that they were focused on. They weren't choosing college. And we want everyone to know that there are wonderful opportunities in the trades and that there are, it's a family supporting career path that they yeah. can have. Yeah, a lot so, of good money to be made in the trades. Absolutely. absolutely. So while we're hearing, you know, there are a lot of college fairs, we wanted to create a trades fair so that many people understood what are the wonderful opportunities there are, viable options, not only you, um, young people, yeah. but also um, career changes like Michael. Okay, and it's not just about networking here either. You're giving people the tools that they need to, you know, go out there and find a job too, Andrew. Like, there's some resume help you can mm -hmm. find? There's resume help, there's mock interviews. One of the things that we understand is that the population that we serve, again, as Lisa mentioned, that they will not take that traditional path to a four-year college. Mm -hmm. However, you can present them with an opportunity that can go four weeks, eight weeks, maybe even 16 weeks and earn an industry-recognized credential and take that credential and make $75,000, $100,000, depending on what they, what they choose. Mm -hmm. And how many vocations are going to be there? You guys have a, quite a slew of people that are going to be represented. Yeah, we have over 20 vendors that wow. will be there. And it started off as a you know small idea, and that's why you know what approached Andrew and the team at the Urban League about this because they're creative and creative problem solvers like we are, and how we can always try to think about ways to engage people that who need it and need to have these opportunities. So yes, there it's grown from our the first time we did it, um, and even it's going to be even bigger this time. Such a wonderful Very way cool. to get young people out there and even older people yes. who need yes. change in their life. Uh, Lisa, nice. Andrew, Michael, thank you so much for all being here. Thank the you. Vocational Training and Trades Apprenticeship Fair is tomorrow, as we mentioned. It's from 10 o'clock to 2, and you can get more information there on your screen. Head to shycat.com.